Okay, welcome to another episode on my channel or welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I just say that. So today I'm going to the streets again for the part two. This time around, I'm going to be um, asking people about what they think about the housing crisis in the Republic of Ireland. We've had had a housing crisis for a few decades now. Uh, house prices are through the roof. Rent is almost unaffordable. And I'm just going to sample people's opinion to find out one of the, re uh, the, the reasons why they think that is so. Two sets of people. Uh, some say that it's a case of demand and supply. So there's not enough houses being built. And when there's shortage of supply and demand is more than supply, prices will go up. That's one. The second school of thought will be those who believe that the landlords are greedy and they are charging exorbitant, exorbitant fees and try to extort their tenants in order to maximize their profits. If you see on your screen now, that is the figure I have based on the research that I've done. The ballpark figures range, so I just took their average. And as you can see there, it starts with a uh, property of about 135000 So in this particular scenario, you're going to be uh, paying 30% deposit. In fact, for all properties in Ireland, if you want to use it for rent, you have to pay 30% deposit, which means for this one, you'll be paying out of pocket 40,500 euros and as you can see from the breakdown and deductions there at the end of the month you're left with about 142 um, euros let's even double that and say 284 euros we're gonna see if it is something that is encouraging for anybody to want to be a landlord as far as i can see here there's no incentive to being a landlord so if i don't want to sacrifice or, or risk 40,000 to make 142 or 150 i don't think the next man will want to do the same thing so when there, are, there is nobody wanting to be a landlord you end up with a case where the reits or the big boys tend to buy everything because they're the only ones that can manage with this kind of profit margin and price the average landlord out as we say without much ado here we go everybody is aware that there's a property or housing crisis in ireland why do you think that is if we have an issue and it's a common issue i think it comes up in discussion quite quite often um i think the news is, vo is quite vocal okay. on the news so we, i think we hear about it a lot so i think everyone is of the same opinion <laughs> okay yeah, yeah. all right so um when i was thinking about it i because i was asking why has property become such a, a commodity that people cannot afford how has it gone to this uh price i've heard the opinion that the the banks are not lending people money yeah. to be to to buy houses sure. so somebody has a proper uh, is renting a house and they're able to pay say 2200 a month to a landlord yeah. but they're not getting mortgage approval to buy a house for them to pay 1500 so well, uh, yeah I, th I think that's part of it yeah i think i think the money is there um it's not always so quick to come out of the banks but I think on, on one side is, is where the money is coming from, but on the other side is where the properties are and who actually owns the properties. So to be, able, to be able to get money for a house is one thing, but to be able to then get the house is another thing. And I think that comes down to private ownership, public ownership. Um, landlords quite, you know, it, I'd like to think it's quite a saturated market at the moment. Um, and it's not that accessible for first-time for first owners to get it because the, the houses are passed on. They're either inherited landlords kind of um, take ownership of multiple houses that come onto the market. So I think it's first time buyers that the real issue stands with currently. Number one, getting getting mortgages approved or getting getting money loaned and then getting the house or getting the chance to get a house. Okay. Is, is, so it's a two part system. Okay. And do you think that has contributed to very high price in the rent in the rental market? Because rent is crazy now. We're like not too far from New York and the rest now. Do you think um, uh, one of the reasons for the high rent is because of landlord's greed or do, do, why do you think that is? I, I think it's like anything. It's like any commodity. I think supply and demand. If something is rare, the price goes up. Um, it, it's, it's, I think it's the same economic principle you can apply to anything. You know, Hard to get is expensive and I think that's what it's become. I agree. Demand and supply. Absolutely. Um now, do you have a property yourself, or are you a landlord oh, no, or something? Rented, okay, rented at the moment, yeah. Rented. Rented. Okay, rented, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I I was doing a research and asking a lot, bunch of landlords, and do, I was getting figures, and what I was able to put together on average, because figures were different, but I had to look for the average of them. Now, this was collated in 2020. Now I know this is 2023, post pandemic and whatnot, yeah. but I got this in 2020. 
would you be willing to put up 40,500 from your pockets to make 142 a month? Absolutely not. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I wasn't aware of that breakdown. It's, it's very well put together. Yeah, yeah. Home prices or property prices have gone so high and why rent is so high. What do you think it is? It's purely a government thing. It's government policy. Um, there's not enough, not enough supply and government policy just fails us. So you're saying it's a demand and supply issue. So yeah. they're not allowing more houses to be built. And as such, uh, since there's not enough su supply, demand is higher than supply. And simple economics, prices skyrocket. Yeah. If I say, the, the, the second question, if I say that um, you, so let's say you want to buy a property and it's a, it costs 135 for rent. For that, you have to pay 30% deposit. Now, 30% deposit on 135 is about 40,500. If you were to take 40,500 from your pockets to invest, how much do you think you would be comfortable making on a monthly basis that would be fair to you and your tenants without exploiting them if you're investing 40,500? I honestly couldn't tell you. Um, I mean, I think people just haven't even gotten to that point. You know, um, people just, people are in a point of despair, you know, and like I'm in my early 20s, there is no uh, uh, pipeline for us. There's no light at the end of the tunnel, but I know plenty of people who own one house and, you know, like they're renting it out. It's hard, you know, it's hard on them as well because they could turn around tomorrow and their house is trashed. Um, but back to your question. And is this to invest in the back into the property? Yeah, no, just for cash, you cash. Know, cash flow. So for their own gain? Yes. So they're taking 40 grand, let's say, and they want to put it back into their own. So if you say you have 40 grand to invest and buy a property now, how much do you think you want to end up with that you, you think it's okay? You just a ballpark, for you, just a range. Yeah. Um, I would say about 10% more. You know what I mean? Um, it depends on how the market goes. Everything, you know, nothing is uh, clear, you know, at the minute. So could could be 5%, 10%. Look, we could end up with a financial crash. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's true. But let me, just before you go, yeah. let me just show you something I have. I've been working on this for a while. Would you be okay with investing 40,500 and ending up with 142 euros for the month? No. <laughs> Definitely not. You know, um, I know, like myself, that um, there are two sides to the coin. You know, there's not enough demand, and and again, like if you take that example that you just gave, it's that's your typical landlord in Ireland. I think. Yes. That's your guy who owns one more property yeah. one, between one and two houses maximum. Yeah. And that's what he's left for, you know what I mean? Uh, so you see how difficult for, because I've heard a lot of people say it's uh, landlords are greedy. I, I don't have a property myself, but the day I saw this figure, I was like, okay, so it's not a case of landlord is greedy because even you wouldn't want to risk 40,000 to make 142. In my experience, there's a, from a landlord's perspective, there's a big divide. You have small landlords who, if they were to look at those figures at the end of, a, at the, end of the year and go, that's not worth it. Yeah. The other uh, side of the coin is you've got big investors who own multiple properties and then, you know, they can charge what they like. They can afford to go. They can afford to take out the small investors because they don't mind 142 as long as the competition is eliminated. I completely get you and I, I, I agree with you. Thanks for the time, guys. Are you aware that there is a um, housing crisis in the Republic of Ireland? Oh, yeah. Very aware. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Why? Why is the market like? Well, there's plenty, I think I think it's the mortgage. The mortgage is the problem, really. They look if I have a mortgage, but I see people like in Ireland, like you, you can rent a house for more than a mortgage, but then you can't get a mortgage. So basically, you're going to the bank and you're paying, especially in Dublin, from Dublin, I live in Kildare, and just say, for example, like, people paying two and a half thousand euro a month for rent, mm -hmm. and then the mortgage for the house they're going to buy, and say in Kildare, will say be fifteen hundred, mm -hmm. but then they can't get it because. You know the mortgage is less more the mortgage is less than rent but the rent should be shown if you can i can pay two and a half grand a month but the, obviously they have no savings because the money's going to rent but they can prove and i'm paying two and a half grand a month okay so I, I i get your point so if a renter can afford to pay two thousand five hundred a month 
he should be able to pay 1500 for their own mortgage. They are able to pay it. Do you know what I'm saying? Because they're paying the, the landlord every month. Okay. But obviously they're not afford to save, they can't afford to save 10%, which okay. is which is a minimum 30 grand, 35 grand. Yes. So they can't, they haven't got 35 grand because they're spending the vast rent. amount of it in the, on the rent so anyway. It doesn't make sense. Surely they should say, look, this is what they're paying and then transfer across the rent. But okay I, I i agree with that to be honest uh i I, it, I don't know why they don't maybe they have some other kind of metric that they use but it doesn't make real sense to me as to why somebody can pay 2005 a month to live somewhere but you can't give them a mortgage for 1005 a month um do you think that the high rent fee is part of what is contributing to this because rent is so high why do you think rent is so high because landlords are greedy. Like if you have, if you in Ireland, if you could afford a second or third house, you have plenty of money. So like, lucky enough, I'm lucky to have a house that I'm paying a mortgage on. So at the at the end of my goal, I'll have a house. Thank God, in 30, 30 years. But people that have two and three houses, they obviously have plenty of money, so they're greedy. Okay. So they know they can charge two and three grand, and then if the people can't pay it, someone else will come in. Okay. So, um, greed. so um, on that topic of greed. Um, if I were to show you, now I was doing a research on um, properties with landlords and in all of my research, I was able to come up with now not exact figures, but kind of ballpark figures for the fees and uh, whatnot. So this is what I got. Do you think this is worth becoming a landlord, saving a 40 grand and getting 142 a month? No, I've seen them figures. It doesn't look like it, but <laughs> I didn't realize how much, but I wouldn't make that much money, but... When you when you when you've broken down there, like you would never think of them things because you have a house, you don't really, you just whatever goes wrong, you fix yourself. Yes, yes. You don't have to have money aside. If someone rings you, the boiler's gone. You know, okay, you're still paying it as a as a as a homeowner, mm -hmm. but there's ways around it. You can wait. No, mm -hmm. if the fridge, if the, yes. if the wash machine goes, you can wait for a week or two. Yes. Or you can say, look, I get paid next week. I buy it then. Yes. But when you're, I've never been landlord, but imagine if you're a landlord, I have tenants ringing you. They're going to drink every other week. Yes. Because can't yes. wash clothes. So something is happening. There's actually a woman I, saw, I met as well who has been rendered homeless. I think that was the first day on the streets sleeping in the car. I got to interview her as well. Uh, you get to see her in the video. So you said it's your first time on the streets? Yeah, it's first time on the on the street. I never sleep in the car. So. And you yeah. said you're from Romania. You were here yes, four yes, years ago. Yes, we, uh, we are in from Romania um, and uh, four years in, uh, in the Ireland. We, we like it because uh, we find very, very um, quickly the job. We have a job, uh, me, uh, part-time and my husband full-time. And uh, we remain in the street because uh, some people, bad people. <laughs> um, why, why we remain in the street? Because um, this uh, landlord wanted to contribute for the roof of the house, but it's not my business to pay for the roof. Yeah, that's not on you to pay. That's his own. Exactly. So uh, she told me, go, uh, "You can, you can go in three days. You can leave from the house." Okay, I will go. So in three days, you can find the house. So the issue you had was not because the rent was high; it's because they want you to contribute uh, yeah, to yeah, the. Yeah, yeah, but I was sharing, not was uh, okay. uh, yeah, my house in rent was just sharing, you know. Okay, okay. Yeah, but uh, if we want to get something, we can't uh, because we are yes, we 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 working, but it's not enough for for to for take a house completely only our. Okay, so you can't afford it just. Very high. You can't afford it just by your. You can barely afford it just by yourself. So you, you can't. So you have to share, and you don't have enough to buy anything because the rent is so yeah, high. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and and for sharing, uh, we we paid the uh, four hundred euro. Uh, on on room just one room yeah. okay all right thanks for sharing